What you guys today we're taking a look at setting up and installing windows from command prompt now the dism or dism image management command line options are very extensive there is loads of things you can do from command prompt but to make things easy uh, windows has a gui interface or user interface which you can use which makes obviously windows usable you've got your start menu your taskbar and all of the things that you use on a daily basis but on the back end there's lots of instructions that's happening which is what you can't see so when we're creating say for instance partitions and formatting them and doing all of this stuff doing these instructions inside command prompt is basically doing exactly the same thing as what you can do at the desktop using the user interface so here we have the boot up a sequence of windows setup screen right here and from here we can push shift f10 to open up the command prompt window now from here we can fully set up windows from here and basically install it from the command prompt if we wanted to i'm going to take you through some of the basic steps that you would need to do if you wanted to do that so the first thing you'll need to do is open up disk part now disk part is a very powerful tool that we can use to configure our system so what we're going to do here is type list disk now that is short for list disk you can do it either list disk or use the short code method which will be quicker i will do two here so you can see list disk and also list disk you can see it's both the same this is for people that know about shortcuts and they will get it done as quick as possible so i'm going to try and stick to the standard list disk method so you don't get confused because list disk is not really a recognizable word and some people might get confused so now we've done list disk we need to select a disk so we're going to select disk one this is going to select our disk drive of 100 gigabytes now we can type clean now clean is going to wipe the disk clean and there's other little switches you can add on the end like clean space uh, all and and there's another one as well which you can use so there's quite a few you can check their website now we can convert the drive to gpt and this is for uefi systems so if i wanted to do that i can do that here or i can do convert mbr which would be an mbr system that's now done and you can see it successfully converted the selected disk to a gpt format now we need to create a drive so i can create a partition primary drive and let's go ahead and type that out here and you can also do par for partition instead of partition itself which is a long word to type out if you're typing these commands out quite a lot use the shorter term words and it makes things a lot easier but now we've created our partition primary we need to format it we can go format fs equals ntfs or we can use format space fs equals fat32 depending on what we want to format it to we're going to format it to ntfs and we need to give it a label which is a name so we're going to call it storage so let's go ahead and write this out right here and call it storage and push enter and we've now formatted that drive and give it a label of storage so we're now we've named the drive so we're going to let that finish off formatting uh, the drive to ntfs and naming it storage for us and that should say complete here uh, very soon there we go and it's now done and now we can move on to the next step now if we wanted to make the drive active if it was an mbr drive we could type active and it will make that drive active but this is not an mbr uh, disk we've got a, a gpt disk so we're not going to use that for this uh, particular case but what we can do next is assign that drive a letter and as long as you're not using a letter already we're going to assign this one s because s for storage let's go ahead and assign that a letter s and whatever drive letter you want to use you can do right here but again we've now assigned that drive a letter s and we've got it all set up so now we're pretty much uh, done here i can exit out and i'll quickly show you what we've just done and all we need to do here is type notepad and this will open up notepad here and from here i can go to file and I can go to open and this PC and you will see the drive that we just created and there it is right there called storage so that is the drive we just created and formatted it 
and assigned a drive letter of S. Now, of course, today we don't have to go through all of this palaver. We have a user interface, which you can see right here. There's a graphic user interface, which we can go into and create drives, format, and also delete and expand and, and shrink and all this sort of stuff from an interface, which makes it a lot easier and quicker in, compared to going into, say, a window like this part and running a bunch of commands, which is what it used to be many years ago. So now we can create our uh, C drive if we wanted to and create a also an EFI boot drive. So you can see right here, I've gone back into this part and I've also listed the disk and now I've selected disk zero because we're going to basically set this up this way as well. So why am I showing you this when you can just do this through the Windows setup uh, method? It's because it's educational and it also shows people how to do things. So let's go ahead and set this up as a GPT here. And we've successfully converted that right there. And all we need to do here is we're going to just change it up a little bit because we need to create two partitions, one for the C drive and for the Windows operating system. And we also need a boot files on there, which is what we're going to do, which is going to create a small EFI partition. So we're going to create a size of, say, 500 uh, megabytes here, and that will be fine. And we can give that a drive letter as well. We're going to hide it anyway. We can hide it uh, here, or we can hide it at the desktop once we're there as well. I'm going to format this as FAT32, because that's what it needs to be here. And that's done. And once we've done this, we can then go ahead and assign a letter to it if we wanted to. So let's go ahead and do that right here. Now, normally these don't have letters and they're hidden uh, from the actual uh, system, so you don't see it. So when you open up your uh, this PC, you're going to see your C drive only. You're not going to see any other partitions. They're all hidden. So let's go ahead and create a new partition primary here, because obviously this is going to be our C drive. So we need to create one. So let's go ahead and do that right here by typing out create partition primary. And of course, we're going to need to format that drive as well. So let's go format space FS equals. And this time we're going to use NTFS, not FAT32, because it's our C drive. So let's go ahead and do that. And we can also do space quick for a quick format if we wanted to. And it's done quickly, like so. So you can see it's very similar to using it at the interface, but we're doing it in a command prompt. So now we're going to sign the drive letter C for that drive because that's going to be our C drive and we're nearly there and what we'll do here next is we're going to go through and finish off this and what I'll do is once this is done I'll show you what we have and we could then go ahead and install now I'm not going to go through the whole process in this video because it's Christmas Eve and I'm sure you've got better things to do than watch my video but if you want to see a full video then let me know in the comment section down below and I'll do from start to finish how to do all this, all of this in command prompt. I've pretty much shown you how to set the C drive up here, the local FAT32 500 megabyte drive, the storage drive right here. And again, we can go ahead and close all this off. And if I wanted to here, I can continue and go to the sources folder and install using these commands right here and continue on by installing. All this is doing is going to get the WIM info of that and I'll let me just quickly change the directory to our D drive here and change to our sources directory and type dir so you can see the install.wim file is here and it, this command is instructing it to install uh, windows uh, from that directory from D drive now yours might be different but this is what this drive is right here and I can instruct it and it will go ahead and install Windows. Now, of course, you need to tell it what version of Windows you want, and that's a whole new chain of events. So you'd have to tell it, I want uh, Index 6, which is for the Pro Edition, and it will go ahead and start to install Windows 11 or Windows 10 Pro, or you can use the Home Edition, which is, I think, uh, something like a 1 or 4 or something like that. You'd have to look at the index and work that out for yourselves. But yeah, that's basically it. That's how you can set up and start to install now if you want to see the full process let me know in the comments section down below and i'll do my best to make that video just after christmas so you can see the full way of doing it inside command prompt anyway but that said i hope you all have a lovely christmas day tomorrow 
And I just want to say a special shout out to a couple of people that are going for a pretty tough time right now. Rob, my thoughts are with you, mate, on Christmas Day. David, same to you, brother. And also Elliot, who's having an operation today in the hospital, who's having his gallbladder removed. So a speedy recovery for you, Elliot. And also a good special shout out to a good few friends of mine that have been around for a while. We've got Tim Stuff, Tim, Tony, Andy, Stuart, Dark Nino, Rich Tech, and also Kevin, Mitch, Fred, Compton, Kate, and also Albert Houston. Don't be eating too many mince pies there, Albert. I know what you're like on Christmas. These are just your regular people that are hanging around on Discord voice chat. And also a big shout out to all my other YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Have a lovely Christmas day and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.